Bowser. If you want to. Bowser. She's still in the tub? Right? Did anyone solve my riddle? Yeah. People did. Okay. I'll be in the tub. I like it hard cuts to her going like, I'm gonna have a great time in the tub. Then. That's how every single time that with him with his hands over his head and just stuff spewing, making that face, that's what it looks like every single time I poop. Chapter 5. We're back. Judge Dredd. Mike's followed the lead all the way back to the ancient, the old natural history museum at the top of a hill in the wilderness. They don't get a lot of people here, but... Who would purchase real estate on this island? The only other thing on it seems to be a like sanatorium. You get a good deal. Hannah's, Hannah's dad knows a good deal when, when he sniffs one out. Yeah, two fewer kids, less expensive, right? The, well, the, I mean, the realtor said we got two places. One's in a very safe, secure place. The other's about a mile away from the sanatorium. Um, but the one in front of the san sanatorium is, uh, you know, it's about 100 grand cheaper. So what are you thinking? Over a course of 20 years interest, that's going to that's gonna add up, my friend. Hmm. Are you yawning? Yeah. It's a long week. It's a mic mission, though. <laughs> this is when things things happen. This stuff gets done. He's wiped. My good boy. He's tired Give thinking. Him a hat. He's tired just thinking about being tired tomorrow. Let's think about Benson. Okay, let's see. Okay, well, we're looking for stuff here. Looking for love in all the wrong places. So, at this point, he is just kind of out for revenge. Because Jessica's got to be dead. Also, I just realized she was dressed like one of Joker's um, buddies in the original Batman movie. <laughs> Mike's tracking down Jessica because he's going to get what he was promised. Oh. No one toys with Mike's heart. I'm looking for totems. Alright, okay, there's nothing here. Fence is like on the couch. Fence. Don't like the couch. You're a good boy. He's got purpose. Mike's a man with a plan. Mike for president. Who's the actor that plays Mike? I should look that up. Is it Peter Stormare? Mm -hmm. We should have him on. Front door. Brett, oh, his name is Brett Dalton. Brett Dalton. He's he looks like he's thirty-three. He looks like a Power Ranger. He's thirty-three, and he's he's playing like a I don't know, eighteen-year-old. Well, how old is Hayden Pan in the air in here? She can't be that young anymore either. <laughs> oh, so he. This is his first acting job? No, he, he was on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh. As Agent Grant Ward. Starring role. Those dogs. I'm going to have to befriend those dogs, according to that totem that I found. We don't watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We don't. That's a lot. Clearly we don't. Why clearly? Because we didn't recognize. We would know him. Oh yeah, we'd know him. We'd say, "Hey, that's uh, Agent Gary Clarkson or whatever." It's an old chair over there. <gasps> up there. I need to get up there. There's maybe a totem or a clue. <laughs> I hope Mike dies trying to get to a totem. Yeah. Do you want to climb after that totem? Yeah. Take me there. Out this way. Oh, hold on. Nice try. I don't. I don't speak German. 
We're going for it. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Hmm. Oh, more clues. I did not check the lock thing, so I hope that didn't influence anything. <gasps> Not sure how that is necessarily a clue. Well, it's an abandoned sanatorium, but it's a relatively, you know, modern camera. I guess, but... So it's interesting that you would find that there. Unless he just got it from Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters throws off, by the way, all clues that you can ever find in a sanatorium. So maybe it, it's a not modern... Maybe it looks like, why is this camera here? It's out of place. It's too old for... No, it's, it isn't, it's the opposite. It's very, very new. Yeah, but if the camera looks... We can't tell the age of the camera. Yeah, we can. Because it's from Urban Outfitters. It says Fujifilm 2012 on the bottom of it. But what does... Is that this 2012 or the last one? That's an interesting article. They like to keep all their best stuff here. So a reporter was assaulted by the security personnel at the sanatorium. Mm-hmm. Men he's been... trying to interview these miners that have been trapped underground and were, I guess, being treated at the sanatorium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. All right. Well, he's at least Mike's taking the time to do some light reading while he's here. Well, as far as we can go. Sniff it out, Mike. What else did you find? Remember Layers of Fear? I do. You guys want to watch us play a genuinely, like, shit-your-pants scary game? Um, there is a full gameplay for Layers of Fear up on James's channel. Pretty creepy. YouTube.com slash James oh, stuff. I, I think that's the scariest game I've seen this year. I can't read this. What do you want me to tell you? So no, I'm just, I'm saying... Wait. They yeah, were all to, messed so up. So a bunch of these miners were yeah. admitted to Blackwood Pines... Um, they had been, you know... They went crazy they were, down there. They were, <sighs> like, on the collapse of, of health, but they had found a, an emergency food supply somehow, somewhere in the mine. Mm -hmm. So they were able to uh, stave off starvation, and they are experiencing weird symptoms of pneumonia. Hmm, weird symptoms of pneumonia, you say? Symptoms that are, are assumed to be pneumonia and other, you know... Mike's going to catch his death of cold if he doesn't get his coat on. <laughs> it's so somber. Man, daggone, new girlfriend's dead. Now I'm going to walk down this sanitarium. Stinks. Hmm, more clues. Is school streaming right now? I don't know. I've heard. I would go there or do. <laughs> or what? Make a dual stream. Where they could just go watch school oh, They uh, Go there. Just leave. Pull it out. Sword in the stone. Told you it was the chosen one. <laughs> I like that Mike's chosen one is pulling a machete out of blood. Well, you know, we all, have our, blood. we all have our methods. Where did he loop that? He just had a machete sheath hanging off his pants. No, he has a pair of carpenter jeans. Have you have you never oh, heard of carpenter okay. jeans? Okay, all right, got it. Settle down. It's type of, I mean, I feel he like he shops I, at Hot Topic. I didn't think that was a Mike thing, but I guess it is. I feel like I have to explain. That. No, you can buy them at like a men's work warehouse. Mm, those are from Hot Topic. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my God, Jessica. <laughs> oh, oh. Sorry. Ben, are you okay? I thought you were someone I knew. Apologize, sir. Oh boy, very clunky. Oh look, he wants to speak. Thanks, snuggle. Benny. Thanks for snuggling. You good boy, Benson. I'm just exploring the sanatorium. You good boy. Rat. <gasps> uh oh, that's an old electric chair. Hope Mike doesn't get up in there. Uh, oh. What? Oh, it's a prank! I'd recognize this. I'd recognize a prank like this. I can't believe he fell for that. 
It was the oldest trick in the book. The old dead hand with a thing on it with a bear trap beneath it trick. Your precious mic. Oh, now you're gonna use that machete to cut your fingers off? Fuck it, cut it off at the elbow, man. Let's let's give it a try. It's probably not gonna work. Wedge it in. Oh, Mike! Mike, come on, Mike! Open it again, Mike. Let's give it a try. Do it this time. Just deeper, deeper this time. There, you're out. You're out. You're out. Damn it, Mike. One more time. One more time, Mike. We get, you need it. To, <laughs> you need to toss the pigskin. Just give it up. This is the one. See, now he's got now he's got a better leverage on. That's out. That's out, Mike. Pull it. Oh. Wow. He saved his fingers. So when when we played it, uh, we cut off his fingers. Yeah. No, he's good. Mike's good. He's got it. We're gonna get Mike through this. He's got his fingers. Those are his finger banging fingers too. <laughs> he's like, how am I supposed to blast bitches if I can't get my fingers? I don't like the catch, man. Nice. We're doing it, Mike. We're getting through this game. We're gonna break this game, Mike. You and me, buddy. I like that he doesn't just casually walks away. Whatever happened, he's like, wait, well, what about that hand? And he grabs it again. Oh, Mike. Nice work. Nice work in there. Oh, he touches that. Another bear trap. <laughs> ah! Strange skull. You can kind of just specify... Skull. Skull. Mike. Bad day for Mike. Hold on, let's check around this place first. Oh, jeez. This is never good, Mike. There's a pizza in here. DiGiorno's. I'm not sure why anyone would do this, but... Oh, the tag. Bear trap. Uh -huh. Okay. Hmm. Let's put that back where it was. Oh, a bunch of them. Dumpster diving. Oh my god, there's gotta be some pizza in here somewhere. Bad news in it. Real bad news. Oh boy. Mike, maybe we ditch this one. Mike, I'm saying maybe we back out. Mm. Uh, I saw her alive on cover time. Yeah. Huh. Jeez, oh, Mike, just don't put that sheet down. Well, let's, let's just. Should I hedge my bets here? Don't look away. Oh, that's got a person in it. Close it. Close it, Mike. Close it. You're not gonna... <laughs> what, what does he need to prove? Alright. I don't think Mike needs his stress in his life. Yeah, no, we wouldn't want Mike to get stressed right now. God damn it. It's corpse. You happy? Oh, fuck. Sick. Sick. I saw fuck sick. sick, man. If I had my machete right now. Oh. Is that its home? I, mean, I can't believe you ruined its home. That's kind of cute. Oh, don't touch it, Mike. Oh, he needs the key. He's like, good, I can go home. Yeah. Okay, let's check this out. Push that shit back in. Man, you don't need this. You don't need this stress in your life. He almost lost his fingers tonight. Uh-huh. Take it. 
Take it, bro. Let's get out of here. Oh, this is now. This is just deeper. I'm not sure what he's. What's he trying? He's trying to follow a guy now. Well, he's trying to find. Yeah. He's trying to follow that guy, but Mike, honestly, like I love you, bro, but at this point, at this point, let it go. You got your fingers. Fingers, Mike. Anyway, at any point, you can pull the dog. We're on the top floor. Oh, hey, Benny. This guy's so casual. You can see in his face how he's like, I don't think I'm getting laid tonight. This is a quaint little psycho crib. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Should have stuck with Emily. It's like she was high maintenance, but man, she, she at least didn't get me into this mess. I never lost my fingers in a date with Emily. Yeah, most of that high maintenance work was done on his dick. More like low maintenance because it's hanging down past his ankles. Oh my god. Right? Am I right? There we go. There we go. We're back down. Right. Back in here. <laughs> yeah, there's literally no difference between Mike and Drake from Uncharted. <laughs> they all just go in circles and then they go, ah, here we go. Back in here. Looks like we're back here again. Some people think that you are a hypocrite because you've criticized games like Last of Us. Uh -huh. and But you like Until Dawn. Mm-hmm. I personally think that no two games are exactly alike, mm -hmm. and, you know, I also feel like Until Dawn is a game that doesn't pretend to be anything it's not, and uh -huh. it knows what it is. Yes. And it embraces that. Yes. It's an interactive, in my opinion, a game like this is an interactive story, whereas a game like The Last of Us, or Uncharted, which I still think is better than The Last of Us, but, uh... Purport themselves to be triple games when. What? You put you punch the dog? No. Okay. Friend, I saw the clue. He's my boy. He's my boy, dog. Easy boy. Easy. He's my boy. Easy. It knows Mike is. It knows Mike is the alpha male here. Pack later. I don't think you were gonna punch him. No, I'm not gonna. I'm in trouble, little boy. Can I pet you, little? Boy? Yeah, I think you, you can pet him. Can I pet you, little boy? Is that okay? Oh, yeah, I just want to say hi. That's a good boy. That's right. No trouble. No trouble. Easy. Yeah, no trouble. Good boy. Yeah. I like that good boy. Nice like to lose his fingers one way or another. Like that? Yeah. yeah, that's how the game balances itself. Yeah. Yeah, everyone likes a little love. Right? Oh, it's like, yeah. like look, I get, I'm playing the game in 4D. <laughs> Good puppy. Good puppy. See? It's working out. Uh, but yeah. I think that I think that they when they started making this game, they said we are setting out to make this interactive story-based game. What have we here? Brandon Jones punched the dog. Really? Yeah, but they were they were like messing with all the. But you have animals. a clue. I know. The clue says don't touch the dog. And I would never, even if the game wanted me to hit the dog, I I could. <laughs> oh, you should reach for that, bro. These bear traps. Uh, I almost kind of want to just back away. Mm. Oh, glad thing. Glad I didn't. Now I can kill myself. <laughs> Reloaded. You should have that in a safe. Oh, 
Mike's okay. He's got a jacket. He's got a pet dog. He's got more clues, by the way, than anyone else. He's found more clues. So that's not even up for debate. I feel like Mike has the most playtime, though. Yeah, because he's, he's getting things done. He almost got his uh, flipping fingers ripped off. Stubby stash exposed. Uh, the cigar. All right. I'm sure this will be important later. Do you think when that guy went in for the audition, there, you'll be playing as Mike, he's the hero of the game. Well, this game was in development hell for a while. Uh -huh. So I feel like that guy went in when he was like 25 and was like, yeah, I think I can play an 18 year old. Mm -hmm. But then now he's like 33. Mm, well, hey, still, he gets to be the hero. Maybe there's another dog in here. I wish. Oh, sweet, chicken wings. Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy. Oh, I got a bone for him. I'm coming, puppy. I'm coming, puppy, my friend. His name's Sajmo. Sorry, Sajmo, I'm coming. I brought you this bone. Yeah, that's it. There yeah. you go. Like a human bone. Maybe. Easy, boy. Be my best friend. Then together they fight crime. He's known as Mike, Mike and Sajmo, the crime-fighting dog. Actually, I think the dog's name is Mike too. Probably just by coincidence, or did Mike name his dog after himself? <laughs> or is it because when Mike is out on a walk, is this really the best way to do it? Really, man. I trust you. Man, this is getting heated now. This is getting serious. I'm gonna find Peter Stormare. I'm gonna wreck his shit up. I'm gonna shoot him with a gun. Oh, hey, Benny. Oh, Benson, you just saw Another clue found by Mike. It's like, all right already, you're not a super detective. So these 12 miners were trapped in a mine, mine collapse. Uh -huh. And they 50. somehow survived. And then got brought to the san sanatorium mm -hmm. to recover. Got it. Uh, and is there any like Description like they're called the Miracle Men. Is Mike considered like a Miracle Man or something? Like is he some sort of magical superhuman entity because of his ability to survive every single thing that this damn game throws at him? Mike could die. Mike could die alone or surrounded by loved ones in his bed at the ripe old age of ninety three. He could. If that's what he chooses for himself. Are you gonna try to keep all of them alive? Well, I can't. Josh is dead. I mean, Frank and me. Oh, yeah. So is Josh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like the game is ramping up and it's gonna be harder and harder to navigate this web, if you will. But uh, I'm gonna try and do what I can, prioritizing some lives over others. Sorry, Matt. Who, like, oh. Of course. See. Locked. You just shot the other one. Okay. Uh oh. Mike. You dumb dumb Mike. That was not necessarily the strategy I would have picked. Also I would yeah, you dumb -dumb. not Proceed now, Mike. Do you think that the killer was like, ha, uh, nice trap, we trapped you. This guy. Josh, do you think
think that's Josh? Hey, it's locked. Oh no. What the hell who did that? Then there's some seriously unknown shit going on up here tonight. I like he's saying all this. Alright, well, come on Matt, let's go. This is this is okay for me, because these two are expendable as far as I'm concer concerned. Even Matt? No, I mean, what if they were Listen, wrong? Matt, Maybe we should have checked the shed to see do you think there's a point where it's going to be Matt spineless and he gets his spine ripped out? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. You want me to draw a penis in the snow with my footprints? Use your urine. Can't you draw a penis? Uh -huh. I'm sure it looks like a penis. There it is. Oh, God. That's what Matt's penis looks like. <laughs> he drew exactly what he knows. Look, an axe. Looks like Babar's face. <laughs> nice. An axe. Some of these things, I'm not sure they're what boobs. I think they're just Matt. things. We'll break the door down, will ya? Well, yeah. One second. We start smashing shit down. He's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? <sighs> I don't know. God, I'm gonna start smashing her, her down. Look, I'm real tired what? of this. <laughs> That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lift palm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. I'll be right back. I'm gonna smash the door. Okay. I got an axe for a reason. Here goes. Are you gonna prank me while you're out? No. But I'm gonna. All right. Watch Matt. Go Matt's gonna go for it. Boom. You're doing it, Matt. She's never even gonna think about that Mike guy ever again. Dude in a mask is doing a really good job of messing with everybody. Just ride the train car down, man. Oh, you're gonna climb for it, aren't you? I want to see their first date. I want to know what it was like when they were together. Because it doesn't seem like they have that much. How much of a rapport with one another, huh? God, everything is like Use so that axe and then we'll put that axe for me. I think that you'll be exactly what they were doing. He can figure something out. He'll find some clues. Uh, Ranger path, cable car. Really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now? Is this what he's just looking at? He's trying to go in here and fix the paintings? Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take this show on the road, huh? Get the cable car working. He's busy looking at maps and stuff. Very friendly. Unfollow. I think Lise might be pranking me. Huh. D.A. What does D.A. mean? There's got to be something we can do. Yeah, we're going to fix it, Look all right? Look at all this crap. There's got to be something useful in here, right? He just stares at stuff. Mike. Mike wouldn't Great. stand for... Oh, there's a key. Okay. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. Mm. Do you think he's actually on a varsity team, or you just get? The, oh, he's probably banned, marching band. He's got the white sleeves. In my school, it was black sleeves for sports teams and white sleeves for marching band. So I'm gonna say Matt's a marching band guy. Uh, we need that radio. We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Yep, I agree. Let's split up. Well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? 
What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Oof. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Wow. He's starting to think. He's like Colton's <laughs> clenching that axe in his hand and he's going, huh, maybe I should handle this. Oh, hold on. Yeah, go ahead, Emily. I think I'm going to try and get Emily to try and... I'm going to give her a boost, see if she can climb out there. She just told me that the, the only rule that I have to know is that Emily's always right. Is it Emily said? Yeah. What did I miss? We were just... Well, Matt went into the office and basically did a bunch of nothing. Yeah, classic Matt. Yeah. And then... He was like, maybe we should go back. And then she was like... I'm a bitch. I'm we a have big to get bitch. to the radio, and I was like, "Fine, uh, we have to get to the radio." And she's like, "Oh, I'm glad you finally understand that I'm always right." So, did you talk to anyone on the radio? No, I haven't gotten to the radio. Oh, okay. yet. Should I have talked to someone on the radio? I don't know. Let's find out. He just needs to push her right over. Oh, that, I see. I thought that was a button to push. <laughs> Me? Well, anything you say, Emily. Emily's always right. Okay. Okay, easy now. Okay. All right. It looks oh like gosh. a Borderlands game down there. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Oh, it's right there. Whoa. See? I'm across. Okay. Now it's just you. Holy cannoli. Thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Did she say holy cannoli? Yeah. She's a quarter Italian. I can't believe Mike ever dated Emily. I can't believe he ever stood for that. Wait, hold on. <laughs> you see him sniff that one out? Let her wander off alone. Like, hold on, wait. I found this piece of wood. Nope. Nope. What the fuck, man? I pressed it. Grab. Turn. Absorb. A flare gun. A clue. I like those guidance totems because they tell me, they guide me. That's what I like about them. Not like those death totems. <laughs> those are bad news. The radio. But if it doesn't, we need a plan. All right, got it. Call Mike. Concede to Mike that I am the lesser boyfriend. Ask for his advice. Wherever he is right now, I'm sure he has all of his fingers and a pet dog. <laughs> Remember when your uh, your coworkers chopped off Mike's fingers? Yeah. Yeah. Punched a dog. Well, first, first they tried to uh, open the. Hey, if at first, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's what Mike's always said. His grandfather taught him. When he was a boy. Well, now Mike can throw the old pigskin. Yeah. I'm talking is. about Emily. <laughs> oh, boy. Kidding. She's fast. Emily has some positive things about her. Does she's she? She's fast. Uh huh. She's quick. And you'll see. She's like going to, to find the radio and use the radio is a good idea. Uh huh. I'm sure it won't get us killed. Guidance. Mmm. I don't know what the difference. Uh, guidance, I guess, or this is a clue that might help you if you pay attention. I don't know what fortune is. Someone in the chat said Calvin and Harris is greater than Garfield. I hope that they intentionally wrote I'm Calvin and Harris. They must. It's pretty funny. Yes, uh, given the choice, I prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death. I, I hope have, it was intentional. Uh, even if it if it wasn't intentional, don't beat yourself up. Is this the cliff where uh, Hannah died? Oh, this would be a nice memory for them yeah. to share. If the ghosts of them come out. Oh, what is that? Hey, what's that noise? I don't know. <gasps> Jesus. They've come. They're battle. It's a war. This this seems. Somewhat hard to have planned. 
What do you mean? Deer, the deer's cornering them on the edge of that cliff? Yeah. I Doesn't don't know if the deer's planned it. No, but whoever's planning this, whoever's scheming on them. I don't know if anyone planned it. And then she's still hanging out here. She's having a great time. Listening to classical music. She, do you think she's listening to classical music because she wants to be viewed as the kind of person that would lie in a tub and listen to classical music? Or because she actually likes classical music? Hello? Let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. Guys? She's listening to it on her pink iPod. What are or you doing pink out there? iPhone. So what if it's pink? I'm just saying. She's sending me mixed messages here. I think you're making snap judgments. Do you think uh, Hayden Panettiere said, I'll do it, but only if I'm naked? No, I don't think she said that. Oh. What button do you press to drop the towel? I don't like the way that you're treating, treating Hayden. <laughs> Is it triangle? <laughs> Set the towel on fire. boy get back in the tub just oh don't forget your phone she can play marvel puzzle quest on it wait no no i didn't want to do that i wanted to get whatever was right there Chris? Josh? there we go this isn't my sock it's my clothes really whichever one of you did this is off my christmas list seriously not cool guys put on the sock might as well. Are you getting pranked? Prank. Are you getting prank, pranked? After prank. Pranks on pranks <gasps> on pranks. Oh, a balloon. Was that there before? <laughs> she hasn't seen, like, anyone the whole time she's been here. She's like, guys, enough already. <laughs> Quit pranking. Yeah, it is weird that, like, there are certain people that are not concerned at all yeah. where everyone else is. Well, or the fact that the house has no power yeah. or any number of things. <laughs> Wait, hold on. 2 a.m.? It's already 2 a.m.? Thanks everybody that is tuning in to, to watch the stream. Yeah. Chris? Thanks for watching everybody. Sorry it took so long for us to get uh, characters into towels. This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? If this was one year ago, she'd walk down in the towel and then everyone would pop out and go, ha ha, you're in a towel, pranked ya. And then she would run away crying. <gasps> I've already seen this photo. Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to I mean, to I think I did the last the time when I explored the house for like 20 minutes, Chris. Tower, is that? She's like, ugh, I hate this photo. I look terrible in it. I know the balloons say to go down. But Sam's naturally inquisitive. She's got to find her clothes. That one chapter we played was really short. This one's like double as long. <laughs> so robotic. She needs answers. Who took my birth control pills? It's not funny. Hannah? This whole family's dead. I just saw a picture of Josh over there. Who did you guys save? Josh? Yeah. Okay, well. We're blazing new trails here. We're saving fingers. We're saving uh, secretly hot girls. Sleeper hot. Girls. Sleeper hot. Oh, this is weird. That's right. <laughs> How long do you, I want to see the scene 
where the guy in the mask set up balloons. He's inflating them and then drawing with arrows all over the balloons. I want to see that. Uh oh. I think it's unfair to deliver this for me. psycho. You just have a different I don't outcome. think you'll have I much know. luck with looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have no. quite a lot to show you. And it's just him, him in, like, pictures of him Open in your like, eyes. erotic poses, yeah, lingerie. Yeah. What do you think? She's quite beautiful, do I have enough for a portfolio? A beautiful bathing bird. How did you get that angle? Do you think she has right up on what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's life? She's like, I don't even like Why classical music. How did he wait, how did he film that? Josh! Unless I'm the killer. <laughs> these are all really close shots. How did he get these? I'm going to give you ten seconds. Nine. Eight. No, 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 Seven. Please, no. Sam. Sam. Josh, is that you? No. Oh, she's tough. Suck my dick. Ugh. That's one for me. Don't remember that. Don't remember that. I'll think about that next time. My aim's of course it is. Fuck this. Keep moving. I wonder where he's hiding. Yeah, seriously. Walks in there. There's one bed in the room. Watch your step! That last one's a doozy. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get your clothes back. Except for that one sock. I'm going for it. He's gonna, he's gonna find me. He's got cameras all over the place. He gets great shots. His, his leg hurts. So that would mean it must be Josh. Are you kidding me? No handle? Yep. Yep. Oh, you asshole. Now you'll go. <laughs> Shit. Try to handle that. Get in there. No. Oh. Aha! And then Chris is down there. He goes, Boo! Come on. It's a great time to search for clues. There's no no bad time to search for clues. Remember that. It's how the way Mike feels about things. Oh. What's that towel staying on? I have no idea. Oh boy. It's a long hallway. Uh, now it's hide. Now's a good time. situations like that, all right? Don't punish her. No, I don't want to know what happens. Got away. I got away. I am the oh, master of Until Dawn. Everyone's going to survive, day. except for Josh. Such and Ashley. I'll get to her eventually. And Emily. Matt. Chris. Sam. Everyone else is going <laughs> to lie. Everyone else is going to be fine. So Emily will be fine. No, Emily's dead. I've been helping you. We're working together. Mm -hmm. Your overwhelming fear of 
things that are dead, you know, turn it against these people. Who use it desperately to torment us? I don't like the way he turns. He he turns my words around. <laughs> he mixes my words. <gasps> oh, there's no one in the chair. Oh. He's there. Did you see him? He spooked. He he pranked Peter Stormare, the prankster, <laughs> the ultimate prankster. I feel. I still feel like Josh is up to something. Josh has got a prank. I feel like these kids all have a, one good prank in them. You know. Yeah, everyone's got one good prank left. I feel like. Look deep inside your hearts, everybody. You've all got a prank inside you, just waiting to get out. Hey, look. Fire tower. Matt, what is that? He farted. <laughs> this this seems this seems like the weakest story of them all. They have a bunch of. Elk coming at them. 